Hey guys, Erica with a K here. Today's video is get ready with me going to a bachelorette party, which I'm going to tonight. So if you want to see how I achieved this look today, then stay tuned. Then I'm going to go in with my invisible setting powder from MAC. ELF has one that's just as good. I'm not sure if you can even get this at MAC if you're not a licensed professional, but ELF does have one that I normally use in my videos and it's, it's really great. Then I'm going to go in and contour with my bronzing powder from MAC in Refined Golden. So I know if you see a lot of videos on contouring the nose, it seems like super simple. You just put a highlight right down the middle, but if you're like me and you have a messed up nose, I think mine might be broken, but I'm not sure. Then you actually really need to concentrate on contouring your nose, otherwise you're just gonna make it look bigger than it is. So this is how you do it. So I'd like to use my blush out of my e.l.f. blush palette, and this is in dark. I don't know if you can see that. This, these are super pigmented, so be careful when you put them on your cheeks. My bronzing power, uh, power, powder, a mineralized skin finish. It's from MAC, and it's in gold deposit. I've used this before in my videos. I like to use this as like a highlight bronzer. Just really gives me life back into my cheeks. Then I'm going to go on to my eyebrows. So I'm not very picky when it comes to eyebrows. I just need an angled brush pretty much or, and any kind of brown. So today I'm going to use this e.l.f. palette. This is for eyeshadow but I don't really use it so I, I hate get to waste things. So I'm actually going to go in and um, do it for my brows. So I'm mixing the bottom two. So I'm going to use my Max Tempting. I mean, this thing, you're not going to be able to see it, but I'm trying my best. And it's actually all falling apart inside of here. But I'm going to use this all over my the bottom part of my lid, like right here. Up to my crease. I'm not going to go on my crease, though. And then I am going to take my, I don't know how to say this, Soba? Soba? S-O-B-A, Soba, like Soda, but with a B, I don't know. This is from MAC also. Um, it's a satin finish. So I'm going to put this on my crease. Pretty much up to where the highlight um, is going to be. Oh my. And then I'm going to take my trusted black that I always use. Um, it's carbon and it's a matte finish. And I'm going to pump it into the corner. And I'm going to take the same brush I just used with the Soba. I don't know how to say that. With the Soba. I'm not adding any more product. I'm just blending this out. Now I'm going to do my eyeliner, and today I'm going to use the Black Tracks MAC. It's eyeliner. I normally use a pointed eyeliner pencil for this, but I don't have a clean one, so I'm going to use an angled one, so just bear with me here. OK. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna take whatever's left and I'm just going to go underneath my eye. I normally don't go all the way through, but today I'm going to. Today I'm using my pink color Girls Talk Waterproof Mascara. I absolutely love this mascara and it's super cheap. I like to get as close to the base as I can and then shimmy the wand all the way out. And that's how I apply my mascara. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to do an ombre lip today. An ombre lip. I'm gonna do a dark ombre lip and I'm going to use my Smolder pencil. I mean, I don't use it anymore and you can see it's so teeny tiny. Um, I don't really like the way the Smolder looks on me anymore because it kind of like, as my sister says, smolders all over my face. I feel the same way about it. I do feel like it just kind of gets all over my face. So uh, instead of throwing it out because I hate being wasteful, I like to do my lips now. So you'll see what I'm talking about. And then I like to use my 15. It's a lip stain from Sephora by Sephora. And now I'm going to take my hair out and you'll see the final look.